To truly understand C, let's look at its origins. The C language was developed by a systems programmer named Dennis Ritchie between 1970 and 1972. He was working at AT&T Bell Laboratories in New Jersey, USA. What's interesting is that C wasn't just an academic exercise. It was created for a very specific, practical purpose, to write programs for the Unix operating system. C didn't just appear out of nowhere. It has a clear family tree. Its ancestor was a language from the 1960s developed at Cambridge University called BCPL, which stands for Basic Combined Programming Language. BCPL was later improved and renamed to Language B. Dennis Ritchie then took Language B, refined it, and developed it into the language C we know today. So what is C at its core? It's essentially a symbolic instruction code. Think of it as a structured set of commands that you use to tell the computer how to perform specific actions. One of C's most defining characteristics is that it's often called a middle-level language. This is a key concept. It earns this title because it bridges a critical gap. C allows us to write both high-level, abstract programs and low-level programs that work close to the hardware. To place C in historical context, remember the languages that came before it, such as Fortran, COBOL, BASIC, and Pascal. The development of C then paved the way for the modern languages that followed it, like C++, Java, and C Sharp. Its lasting power comes from this one simple fact. C permits a very close and direct interaction with the inner workings of the computer.